Tell me your name and what you're doing here in the Netherlands. Yeah. So I came here in the Netherlands two years ago okay. to study for my master's. I'm studying my master's in finance okay. at Nairo Business University. I'm almost in my final phase oh, okay. of my master program. Why did you choose the Netherlands to study? Yeah, so I'm interested particularly in sustainable finance and the Netherlands is quite ahead when compared to the rest of the world oh. in this area. Okay. So I thought I should move here. How was the application process for you? Was it very straightforward? Was it easy? Yeah, it was very straightforward, very clear. Okay. And if I needed any help with the application, I just reached out to the university administration yeah. and they helped me out. Oh, nice. Yeah. Do you like have any struggles or any challenges so far? Yeah, my overall experience has been very positive so okay. far. The only thing is the language barrier that I come across from time to time, but mm. Dutch people are very good in English, so <laughs> I do not really face that okay. as a big problem. Oh, okay. So you think that anybody can come in here without having to learn Dutch before moving to the Netherlands or Absol coming to study? Absolutely, but also at the same time, I would advise that if you're planning to live here for a long time, then you should definitely Pick try up. to learn the language. Oh, okay. That will really help you a lot to make local friends. How easy is it to make friends here in the Netherlands? Uh, that's a tricky <laughs> question. It really depends because you have to be an outgoing person mm. because uh, Dutch people, they already have their own friends. Their own circle of friends. Be it from their childhood, from their own university yeah. life. So you really need to uh, stand out and try to force yourself right. to be in their circle. circle. Oh, okay. Mm. Have you made any friends since you came? Uh, yes, okay. absolutely. Are they like different people yes, from I, school? or? Yeah. So my first friends became in my university yeah. itself but also when I uh, traveled in the country, in different parts of the country, I did come across very nice people Aww. who became my friends. What was your expectation before you moved here and when you moved here? What did uh, that feel like? My expectations were the same that I'm living my life here the way I'm living here right now. Okay. So they were quite positive expectations. I knew that it will be uh, managing education yeah. while managing my new life in a new country would be difficult. Yeah. But since I had those expectations already, I did not really face that much trouble mm. when living here. Okay. Uh, finding a house was kind of a difficult oh, thing. Oh, how long did that take you to find? Uh, yeah, I was lucky in the end because I found that my university has a partnership with this housing oh, yeah. a company. Okay. So that's how I got a place here. Mm. And yeah. you, you said that it's been a good experience. Like, if you had to like find ask people people who are trying to look for an accommodation, what do you think you suggest them to do when would, they're looking for? I would advise them seriously. Advise them to look for a place before they come here, and okay. also reach out to any friends they already have. I know this is putting you on the spot, but what is your current GPA? If you if you don't mind sharing, it's not really a good GPA. Okay, it's somewhere in seven. Okay, okay. And yeah. how many hours your studies do you have to put in when you're here? Do you feel any pressure to like be better like your peers? I don't really feel the pressure okay. of uh, like performing very well. Okay. I just believe that understanding the content of your academic. A study is more yeah. important mm. than focusing just on okay. grade. How does it feel being like an Indian student here in the Netherlands? It's a very friendly community here, well, with the Dutch people, yeah. as well as there are many Indians who are living in the Netherlands. Okay. So I can also reach out to them mm. and be their friends. So they are also very nice people. Are there common things that you see here They're back home that you don't get to see here? Uh, not really. Oh, okay. Yeah. You know, okay. No. Okay. Yeah, I would say life in India is a little bit more chaotic, mm. which also has its own benefits. No I really enjoy uh, being in a chaos <laughs> sometimes because that's... being in a very organized and orderly way can also be boring sometimes. <laughs> uh, that's my personal okay, true, uh, true. way of looking at things. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't really think that, uh, there is anything specific that I'm that really miss. missing in my life. Why did you choose the Netherlands to study and uh, what are you studying as well? I'm studying political science. Okay. Uh, I finished my bachelor's okay. now I'm doing uh, the master's version okay. in uh, political economy okay. more specifically. Yeah. I chose the Netherlands because I knew it's very international and my choices were uh, the UK or the Netherlands and I knew after Brexit it will be less, less easy like, to find a job there. Uh, to meet uh, new people who are not uh, locals okay. and uh, for me I think that was important. What university are you in right now? I'm studying at the University of Amsterdam. Oh nice. It's a very nice place for internationals. How would you describe the environment there? I have a lot of international friends. Okay. So I would say it's 
good for internationals. Okay. Uh, I have a few Dutch friends as well, so it's not like I've been isolating myself. Okay. okay. Uh, and how would you say your experience has been as a foreigner studying like in the Netherlands in general, not just the university? Well, because we are not uh, expected to know the language, mm. I feel like that's been an issue. Okay. Uh, because you cannot participate in the daily interactions with uh, the locals, mm. or at least not as easy as it could be mm. if you spoke. Okay. When, when you're in school, do you have like certain like lectures or anything that like maybe still us maybe Dutch or are they all in English? No, I'm currently taking Dutch courses. Okay. And you can take that uh, if you pay for it in the university mm. or if you're following specific majors mm. uh, or if you um, are eligible according to the municipality right. and the municipality puts you in a specific oh, learning group. Okay. This is your current GPA and do you have any specific hours you have to dedicate to maintain or study to keep that going? Uh, it varies per year, per period, per courses. Like sometimes I'll get very high, high grades, sometimes I'll get not as high grades. I don't think I've gotten really bad grades since the first year I came here because I, or maybe it was just my perception because the grading system is so different than mm. what I was used to. Okay. Because I finished an American school and there it's all about percentages and you, like mm. the furthest you are from 100%, the lowest your grade is, oh. and here you'll never get the maximum points. Mm. Um, do, you, do you feel any pressure when you're here as an international student than when you're like, let's say, back home studying or...? Yes, the competition here is uh, much more severe, I okay. would say, because you, you're meeting the, the smartest people of mm. other countries, basically. Yeah. Any tips you want to give to them for them to make better choices or things they need to know before they come here? No, a word or two, because um, it's always nicer uh, and you always get a smile back when mm. you try to uh, interact uh, in, in Dutch. Dutch yeah. Even if you get a response in English back, because that happens often, people often switch if they see you struggling. Uh, I think that would be nice. Mm. Uh, find at least a friend or two, because in the beginning it's very difficult to make friends because everyone is always rushing to sure. do something else. And um, find housing in advance. <laughs> Never come here thinking it's going to take just a couple of days. How did you find yours? Uh, so the current one I had signed for four years. Oh. Uh, and at some point when I needed a new place to move uh, to, I just emailed the... Um, organization mm -hmm. and uh, asked if I can move in soon and they said, then uh, they asked me how soon you want that and I said well as, as soon, soon as, as possible, possible. <laughs> and uh, they offered me a place basically right away oh nice, uh, nice. but before that I had to pay uh, to another organization who wants to find a place I used Camernet once Facebook group uh, it was an occasion as well uh, I found flatmates through Facebook groups okay. as well. Okay. It's, it's very different, very different experience. experiences.